Today we're going to be making some sauerkraut. Fermenting is a great way to preserve food and increase its nutritional value. Turning cabbage into sauerkraut is simple, quick, and inexpensive. Ferment fermentation produces billions of beneficial bacteria. These probiotics are still present when we eat it because it is not pasteurized. Health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. No, that's fear the Lord and depart from evil. Oh yeah, well, it's great for your gut flora. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to wash your cabbage. We're going to be using homemade colloidal silver and filtered water to soak them in. The next step is to shred your cabbage. We're going to be using this salad shooter. It will make things go a lot faster. There will be a link in the description below. We're not going to be using the core of the cabbage because it is very bitter. One important thing to remember is to remove some of the large outer leaves and set them aside for later. We're going to add about a half a tablespoon of salt to our filtered water. You can add more or less salt depending on how you want the flavor to turn out. This is just a basic just cabbage recipe, but you can add in all sorts of vegetables, peppers, carrots, onions, anything. So now we're going to mix the salt water in with the cabbage. For this step, we are going to create a brine by juicing stalks of celery. Celery contains natural sodium and keeps the vegetables in an anaerobic environment, which encourages the growth of good bacteria. You can create a brine just by using salt and water. That will work fine, but we like to use celery juice for added health benefits. I have already washed one whole bunch, so let's get started. We really like this juicer. We've never had a problem with it, and we've been using it for years. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, the link will be in the description below. Here's the celery juice that we made earlier. I'm going to add a probiotic. This is an optional step that you can do to add more varieties of good bacteria. If you're interested in the probiotics that we like to use, we'll leave a link in the description below. And now we're going to add about a half a tablespoon of salt. Now we're going to add the brine to the cabbage. Now we're going to pack this into the jars. Don't pack it too tightly. We decided to add apples as a prebiotic to feed the good bacteria. You can use any fruit. We didn't have quite enough brine, so I'm going to make some more with just salt and water. So now we are going to be putting the saved pieces of cabbage on top to weigh the sauerkraut down. So that it doesn't get moldy. Now we're going to put the lids on loosely to allow for air to escape. Now we're 
going to put the jars into the cooler between 68 and 75 degrees. One reason we put the jars in the cooler is because during the fermentation process, the brine will overflow. It's been 14 days and now it's time to taste the sauerkraut. Since the cabbage is exposed to air, the top gets a little bit discolored. We're going to discard that and anything else that's discolored. Or give it to the chickens. This is his first time tasting homemade sauerkraut. Homemade sauerkraut is always a lot better than store-bought because it has more flavor. That stuff's the best.